In this video, we'll be talking about slope from points. The first thing we need to know is how to find slope given two points. And there is actually a formula for that. So far, we know that slope is found by looking at a graph and finding the rise and then finding the run and putting them in this fraction form and then reducing them. Now we're going to add a little more information. First of all, we're going to let you know that an equation for slope is called m. So m represents your slope. And so far you know that to be rise over run, but here's another formula that you can use to find rise over run or your slope. It's y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And this is a formula that you can use when you are not given a graph, you're just given two points. Let's move on to the examples that will help us learn how to use this formula. For example one, we're asked to find the slope between the coordinate point 7, 2 and 11, 4. So we're going to use the equation m or slope is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Now remember that the coordinate values are listed like this, x, y, x, y, correct? So it doesn't matter if you pick this one to be your x sub 1, y sub 1, and this one to be your x sub 2, y sub 2. You just can't get them confused in the middle of your process. But here's what you want to do with those points. Since we just labeled this to be our first point and this to be our second point, now I'm going to plug in the values for x sub 2 and y sub 2 and x sub 1 and y sub 1 into my equation. So I know that y sub 2 is 4 minus y sub 1, which is 2, all over x sub 2, which is 11, minus x sub 1, which is 7. Now I'm going to figure out what 4 minus 2 is, and that is actually 2 in the numerator, and 11 minus 7 is 4. And then we look at that and realize that it can be, re be reduced. A common factor of 2 can be taken out of both. And our slope is 1 half. Once again, for example 2, we're going to call this point 1 and this point 2. And so now our coordinate points are labeled. I want you to see in our first example where I'm getting the values for x sub 2, y sub 2, and x sub 1 and y sub 1. But I don't want you to do that for the rest of your graphing life. I want you to be able to move on. So what I like to do when I'm working on these type of problems is just label my coordinate points 1 and 2. And then from there I should be able to remember that this is x and this is y on both of my coordinate points. Once again, m or slope is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And now I'm going to plug in the values. 4 is going to represent my y sub 2. And negative 5 is going to represent my y sub 1. Notice I 
subtracted a negative. I didn't subtract a positive there because y sub 1 is a negative 5. And then x sub 2 is negative 17 minus x sub 1, which is negative 2. Simplifying my fraction, I get 4 plus 5 over negative 17 plus 2, which again reduces to 9 over negative 15. And again, that has a common factor of 3, so it reduces to 3 over negative 5. And that is the slope of that line given those two coordinate points.